let us look at uh, the part 2b exercise and in this uh, exercise we are supposed to create an organization chart for uh, administration Faridabad division. So I am going to create a new word document. I am going to click on the file and then say new word blank document. So I have a blank document with me and I am supposed to uh, do it using according to them I'm supposed to use uh, the smart art so let's go ahead and let's um, create the smart art so in order to create uh, the smart art let's um, see where that option is available I'm going to close uh, this document which is the last exercise and I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to the insert menu over here if you look at uh, the insert over here so insert and then you have an uh, option for smart art so you have an option for smart art over here in this region you have this uh, smart art so select that smart art and uh, let's look at um, the options that smart art you have a lot of options uh, that uh, you are going to get it so I'm going to first uh, uh, prepare this part and that is organization chart for uh, Faridabad division I'm going to copy this one and just uh, paste it there you are supposed to type that thing during the examination and uh, I can uh, use uh, maybe the I think I can just make it uh, slightly large and then bold and then change the color and make it uh, center so I quickly done that thing hope uh, you are, will be able to remember that okay so you just uh, change the font size and then make it bold and then change the color and then get it at the center so this is a uh, child's play let's go ahead and let's uh, insert the smart art so I'm going to go to the insert over here and then I'm going to go to the smart art let's click on the smart art we need a hierarchy there so I'm going to go here and then select the hierarchy so this I'm going to select it hierarchy so I'm going to select the hierarchy and I'm going to select the first one first option in the hierarchy organization chart okay so I'm going to select this option that is the organization chart so let me click on this you can double click on it on there or click on it and then click ok you get the option over here always remember do not try to make changes over here rather you make changes uh, in this area that is the text area this is very easy and you can quickly build the entire graph uh, entire organization chart by manipulating this area now suppose if this area is not visible go to the design so you notice this design the other one is the format so go to the design under design you get this text pane so if you click on it it vanishes if you click on uh, it again the text pane over here this part if you click on it it appears or if you click on it again it disappears now let's look at uh, the first part and that is what uh, we are supposed to do is uh, commissioner Faridabad division I have uh, uh, pre-written the information so I'm going to just copy paste it so that I can quickly build the thing I'm going to just uh, isn't that I typed here so you get uh, this part commissioner Paridabad division so this is the first part now notice that uh, there is one extra thing over here this is unnecessary it is not required so this is the second part below this is the second part you notice uh, these two things over here this part uh, is uh, this one this is this this is not required so does this part it is not required just delete it and uh, you get that thing okay you can click on this one and then press delete or you can press the backspace and delete it I'm going to do it uh, the other way around click on it and press the delete button on the keyboard it's gone so it is simple as that hope uh, you got what I have done so I'm going to control Z it again so what I did I just clicked on it press delete on my keyboard and it is done okay now this is not the structure the structure is slightly different you get one more level directly below this and then 
the divisions so what you are supposed to do it so look at this divisions over here so this is the first division this both are at the same level remember the other one is below this this is below this is below this is below they must be in the same level now if you look at here look at this one this and the other one must be there on the same level they are not in the same level if you look at here this you notice this is one level they are at the second level so they are below this so you have to somehow get it back so how do you do this one so there is an option here if you notice over there is an option here promote or demote okay so you can click on this to change the position so i'm going to say promote can you see there okay so let me demote it this was the original place i am going to promote it you see this is how it's going to appear okay demote it it's going to come back now i am not going to promote this one because then both of them will be at the same level remember this part is below it must come below this one so if you look at here i'm going to demote it this is at the same place just place the next part deputy commissioner new so this is uh, what is written there deputy commissioner no you just paste it up to here it is done these two what you notice over here these two must come below this in other words these two must come below this so this is where you need to demote so i'm going to click on this one here and then <clears throat> i'm going to say demote can you notice i can do the same thing by clicking on this one and then say demote clicking on this one and then say demote this is one and the same as uh, doing it from here but what i'm going to just uh, promote it not this one i'm going to promote this one here and the easiest way you can do it is by clicking on here and press the tab this is one of the easiest way you can do it that is why i prefer this just by pressing tab you can get it now it may not appear in the same way that uh, this was appearing so what you are going to do so you don't need to do anything over here click on this part and then i'm going to click on this part and i'm going to show you what happens then you say click on here layout and make it standard you notice that okay i will control z it and i'm going to do it so i clicked on layout and then standard and this is it so from here it's going to be in the standard way let me go to the next part and i'm going to type, uh, paste this one stm now i i have written message here so i'm going to just copy this paste it it has come next part is uh, let's say stm taro okay so i'm going to just say stm taro i'm going to just copy this one you have to type it in the examination so let's go here and then okay how do you get the next one just press enter here if you are doing it uh, from uh, this part press enter here so that's uh, simple as that okay otherwise you have to click on add shape and then add after below and so on so for this is going to be longer time in the examination you will be wasting a lot of time if you try to do that so just press enter you get it here and then uh, i'm going to copy the next one i think uh, stm ferozpur zirka this is the one stm ferozpur zirka is the next one so i'm going to just paste it here press enter and uh, i have the last option here stm punhana okay so let me copy this one control c and then paste it so this is done now i need something below this 
so that means after this uh, sdm no i want something to come not this i need something else to come below this so how do i do that so what i need here is uh, tehsil no so i'm going to just copy that uh, tehsil new okay i'm going to just copy tehsil new now what i'm doing here you notice uh, uh, in this document so i want this tehsil new and uh, new here so i'm going to click here press enter now it's going to come in the same level but uh, after pressing enter i'm going to just press tab so it's going to come below here paste it and uh, you have done it now if it is not appearing properly click on it go to the layout and make it standard layout not this one click on this one and then go here and then say standard layout and it's going to appear like this okay let me look at the second one and the stm taro your tehsil taro you have it so i'm going to copy this one control c and uh, in your examination you don't have that choice so click here press enter press tab and then type it so you got it next part you have the sl zopper and uh, zerka and the other part so i'm going to just uh, copy this and then go over here after this look at here after ferozo for zerka click press enter press tab and paste it so you have it uh, directly below here don't worry about uh, if it is not coming in the standard way you know very well you can change the layout let me go here and uh, after this you have um, sub tehsil najina okay so i'm going to just copy this one and uh, remember this time because these two are at the same level remember these two are below this so i'm going to click on um, this one tehsil ferozapur zerka press enter no tab this time just paste it remember because they have to be below this itself so they are they must be in the same level so don't a uh, press tab if you press tab it will go below you know, inside this that's not the way if you have done it just promote it back okay so let's go to the last part and that is tehsil uh, punhana i think that is it okay let me go here and uh, let me go here press center press tab and then paste it now what's the next thing that we are supposed to do it is uh, just uh, click on them and uh, click on this part go to the layout and then make it standard layout click on this one go to the layout and make it standard layout click on this one make it a uh, standard layout so this is what you are supposed to do it and now it is a time to put the colors so put the colors one after the other but before you put the color you see this is a rounded rectangle and all of them are not rounded rectangle so you need to select all of them to make them a rounded rectangle so click on here okay hold the control ctrl on your keyboard don't leave the control button go on clicking on all the boxes here okay you have done you have done it okay now it is a time to change them now to change this it is not directly it is not possible from this menu go to this format menu so you have this format menu over here so select this format menu and then make the changes format menu and then under here you get an option change the shape click on here and then select the rounded rectangle so this is the rounded rectangle select the rounded rectangle and all of them will change to rounded rectangle you can see the difference they are not the rectangle they are rounded rectangle now it's a time to change the colors so click on here and make the color of uh, the color you, you are not color blind you can always uh, make the proper color so select the one and then one color i will select one color uh, don't tell me that that's not the color i'm uh, doing it very quickly so click on it and then select one color and uh, i think the next row is proper now if you want to color them all of them in one shot select this hold control select this click on this click on this click on this all of them should get the same color so select all of them 
then go to the fill shape fill and then select one color so you can always uh, play around I, i'm not uh, I, I assume that this is the color I just excuse me for that okay so that's the color and that's all you are supposed to do it thank you